Okay, whenever you guys are ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this is our device, which provides you a low power spatial audio. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so uh, this can be applied to like AR VR device, or you can be uh, like an add-on feature on a Google Map. So, how this works is that the user will use a joystick uh, to control the dots on the screen. So that indicates where the user is on this uh, college town crossing map that we created. Okay. So when we press it down, spatial audio will be played through the headphone. And so the user will hear a uh, surrounding noise, like as if uh, he's or her just standing at the spot. Okay. Yeah. So you're moving this dot around through this animated intersection with the joystick there. Yeah and you can see on the screen there's a few sources of noise yeah so here this is the college town map that we created um, this is the oishibo okay uh, it will play like a convenience store sound like a ding dong like you've a, entered yeah, yeah. okay yeah, like a ding dong and then oh. oh yeah so we have three sounds so that's the oishibo sound at the corner and then we also have the sound of a car driving by for this car and then we also have a chirp sound for the little bird at the corner <laughs> Okay, and depending, so just to make sure I understand, depending on where you place the little dot, the audio from each of those sound sources will seem like it's coming from different places. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's like kind of like we want to create it and like an immersive experience in the map because okay. you as a person, when we're moving around, we hear sound like from different spaces in different direction in different amplitude and that's what we want to create. I see, yeah. okay. Okay. So the way how we created this like spatial audio or like sound localization feature is through it's by tuning the the delay between the left channel and the right channel of the deck, which is the your left ear and your right ear. We tune the delay and the amplitude ratio between left ear and right ear based on the angle you have between you and the object. That's the that's all angle based. And also things like when in real world, like if we're far away from an object, the, uh -huh. the volume gets lower. We also have this intensity difference um, um, parameter being tuned for each sound source. So that, that's based on distance. So if you get closer to it, it gets louder. Awesome. So, so let me just make sure I've understood. So for each of these audio sources, the closer we get to it, the louder it gets, yes. just like in real life. Yeah. yeah, and the sounds can overlay over each other to get closer yeah. to them. And the and, sounds overlay. And because like these sounds are originally different volume, uh -huh. are, they have like different um, audio range. So like, you, for example, you can hear the car in every corner of the map, you can move on. But for the um, for the bell sound in Oishibo and also the bird sound, you can only hear it in a close range. Interesting. Yes. Okay, so the rumble of the car is audible all over. Yes. Okay, and then in order to get the directional audio, you've modeled the time delay associated with the sound getting from one side of your head to the other side of your yes. head. Yes. And that's that time delay depends on the angle. Yes, that's a simplified, simplified version of the head-related transfer function. Sure. Yeah. There's also uh, amplitude delay between the, like the left and right ears. Yeah. Okay. And then, so yeah, three things. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a time delay, amplitude, mm -hmm. uh, amplitude ratio, and then and then okay. the intensity. intensity. Awesome. Cool. Can we try it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. I'll try it. So. Do you want to be the controller? Yeah. Yeah. Someone can move me. Yeah. Around. You can control it. Just move around. You can. You can. Be close. Okay. Do you want to reset it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So you're walking up from Dryden. I see. <laughs> You need to press it. Yeah, I know. Okay, awesome. So right now what I'm hearing... I hear the ding-dong of a Oishi bowl on my right. I hear a car. The car seems to be right in front of me. Let me see if I can identify the bird location. The bird is like that way, sort yeah. of forward and to my left. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. So, so for me, is it the case that I'm looking this direction? Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're walking okay. down from Dryden. Fascinating. Okay. 
Can you move me closer to, let's see, the bird, the bird perhaps? Yeah. So now the bird is louder. It's in about the same relative location. Sort of off to my left here. Yeah. The low rumble of the car is still present. Sounds like a sports car incidentally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking up to the right of the bird. Yeah. yeah, and now the bird is decidedly off this shoulder. The car has moved a little bit to my right. Yeah, because you're getting closer yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. And let me see if I can hear the ding dong. No, I'm too far away from it now. Fascinating. So it's it's quite immersive. So now the car is really close. Wow, that's really to this corner. So now the car is right off this right side of my body. Yeah, you can see it. You're yeah, and it's quite loud. The bird is behind me. I can still hear it, but it's faint. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. So, so let me ask. Um, the little icons, the car and all these things, did you guys come up with those yourself? Yeah, so we we use a uh, geometry of like rectangle, circle, triangles. and triangles, triangles. To, to, yeah. to combine them. Yeah, we and then kind overlay of like them overlay in certain way. Way. It's very artistic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and I, li I like the how the intersection, the intersection kind of looks like a integrated circuit, which is kind of... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, and how about the the sounds? Are you are those audio files or are you synthesizing those sounds? Um, we synthesized it. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I synthesized and juiced the notebook and then we just like moved it onto the cake. So you, I see. Yeah. So, so is this direct digital synthesis? So yeah. You're like with the dang so like, the car rumble. That's the car. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds even better through these headphones too. It's a lower rumble. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. So then we got a bell. Which we tried to do before, but it doesn't really work because the synthesis rate is too low. I see. Okay. 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 Cool. Really, really compelling. Thank you guys.